Hello everybody, welcome to Totally Tabled. My name is Shaggy, and today I'm doing a full solo playthrough of Distilled. We're going to be using yeast, water, and sugars to craft a bunch of different spirits, perhaps aging them in our warehouse, bottling them, and then selling them, trying to make the most money we can. Now I've got everything set up for the solo game. It's pretty much exactly like the multiplayer game, except for we have these solo goals over here. You're going to shuffle up the A, B, and C deck, and then you're going to make five rows, just like this. You're going to want to keep the rest of the B cards handy, as well as the solo goal swap card. In order to win the game, we're going to need to complete one goal from each of these rows. And depending on which B card and A card we complete, that's going to define how many points we need to score in order to win the game. We're going to be playing as Annie McAdam. On the back of her card, it says that we start with three money and one water. And as always, you start with a metal barrel and a glass bottle here in your storeroom. I've grabbed her signature recipe, which is the single pot still whiskey, and her signature ingredient, the unmalted barley. Put the round marker on one. You can see there's going to be seven rounds in the game. And there we go. We're all set up. We're ready to begin. As always, I'm going to teach the rules as I play. So let's just dive right in. The first step of each round is the market phase. This is where we get to acquire a bunch of cards that we're going to use to distill some sort of spirit. And over here, we have the list of spirits that are available for us to make. We're using the recommended starting card here, the one with the A in the corner. And at the beginning of the game, the only things that we can make are moonshine and vodka. In order to make any of these others, we're going to need to research that recipe. And the costs are right up there. So in order to research one of these two bronze level recipes, it's going to cost two bucks. These three silvers are four and the two gold are six. In order to make any of these spirits, we're going to need one water and one yeast. And then we'll need a variety of sugars depending on which recipe we want to create. For moonshine, we'll need no sugars at all. For vodka, we can use any type of sugar. And each of these other recipes has a combination of the three main types of sugars. The grain sugar, the plant sugar, and the fruit sugar. In addition, some of these recipes require you to age the spirit in either a wooden barrel or a clay barrel. We also have the ability to make our signature recipe right off the bat, but it has a lot more requirements, and so we're not going to worry about it just yet. Now, out here on the market, we can buy as many cards as we can afford. The only restriction is that we can only purchase up to two cards from the basic market each round. Now, right off the bat, in order to make anything, I'm going to need some yeast. I start with a water, but I'm going to need to get a yeast. So I'm going to grab a yeast from the basic market. You can see the cost is zero. And when you purchase, it gives you a little special ability. It says there immediately gain one coin. Now you can see we have just the basic versions of all three of the different types of sugars. And we also have a basic clay barrel and a basic wood barrel over there. I think I'm just going to go ahead and get a mixed grain here. We're going to put that right there. Once again, those are free. You can see here the plant-based sugar is cost one and the fruit costs two. So there we go. That's all the basic market cards I can get. Now I can go over here to this premium market and get as much stuff as I want. Now I only have four bucks and a lot of this stuff is very expensive. You can see down here on this bottom row, we have the different premium items. So we're talking special bottles that we use when we bottle up the spirit in order to sell it. And then you're also gonna see some premium wooden barrels and premium clay barrels in there as well. And these tend to give special abilities or more victory points or money when you sell your spirit. In the middle row, we have the premium ingredients. So we'll see a lot of the different types of sugars, but ones that will give you more money and more victory points when you add them to your spirit. And then on that top row, we have the different upgrades. Now there's two different types. We have equipment upgrades and we have specialist upgrades. They're gonna give you special abilities throughout the game. And we have three spaces here where we can put upgrades. I think right off the bat, I want to spend two of my coins here. Actually, let's spend three and get this millet. And I'm actually just gonna place that here in my pantry. 
And when you get a card from the premium market, you slide everything down and refill it right away. And now I only have one coin left, so I think I'm done with the market phase. In the solo game at the end of the market phase, you want to come here. You want to discard the top card from the B deck. And then you're going to consult this picture and discard cards based on what that picture shows. So we're going to be discarding the first and the fourth upgrade, the third and the fourth ingredient, and the first and the fourth item. You put everything on that cardboard truck, then you slide everything down and refill. We now go to the distill phase, and the first thing you can do is you can execute a trade. You could trade exactly one item or ingredient that you have for one ingredient from the basic market of equal or lesser value. So if I really wanted to, I could trade this millet in for any one of these ingredients if I was in a pinch or something. Obviously, I don't want to do that right now, so we're going to move on. The next thing you do during the distill phase is you decide what ingredients you're going to put over here in the wash back to prepare to create your spirit. And if I wanted to, I could add this millet in here, but I'm going to keep it in the pantry for now. And obviously you need to have at least one water and one yeast. Now that I have my wash back all set, we're going to add one alcohol card for every sugar card in our wash back. So since we have one sugar card, we're going to add one alcohol. We then distill this spirit by taking these cards, shuffling them, and removing the top and the bottom. These two cards are going to go back into your pantry. And what's ever remaining is what makes up your spirit. Now, in this case, because I lost my mixed grains, I've actually created a spirit that has no sugars in it, which means the only thing I've satisfied here is the moonshine. You can see here, no sugars allowed. It doesn't matter that I lost the alcohol card. That doesn't make any difference. It's really just about the sugars. So I'm going to declare that I'm making moonshine. And as you can see here, it can't be aged, and it needs to be in a metal barrel. So I'm going to add the metal barrel and claim my label. And there is my wonderful, wonderful moonshine. We now go to the sell phase, where we get to sell the spirit that we created or age it in our warehouse. Now, this moonshine, I cannot age, so I have to sell it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get money based on what's shown on the cards here in the upper left corner. So I'm going to get one two money plus what's shown here for the moonshine plus two so i'm gonna get four and then i would also get points that are shown on the cards now none of these cards have points but over here it shows that when you make a moonshine you get a point we now get to claim our spirit label bonus which means we take the label and we can place it on any one of these seven spaces above our board and get that special action. So we could go here to just get five money or two victory points. You can see on all of these, you could always just take two victory points. We can come here to get our signature ingredient into our pantry. This is the only way to do that. If we place it here, we could discard a card here from our pantry in order to take one of the cards that's on the truck. Here we could just take a free ingredient from the premium display. Here we could get a free recipe, any one of these recipes that we want. Here we could get a free item, and here we could get a free upgrade. Now I'm really tempted by a lot of these. Having a bunch of money would be very valuable. You can see here, one of our first goals are down here. We have to complete one of these two goals before we can move up to the next level reveal those and see what our next goal needs to be. So right now we have a choice. We either have to distill our signature recipe at some point. When we do that, we'll get three money or we need to earn eight victory points or more in a round. So 
So if we wanted to try to distill our signature recipe, I could come here to get our signature ingredient. That would definitely help. But I actually think I want to go ahead and I want to discard a card from the pantry in order to take one of the cards that's currently on the truck. So we'll go ahead and we'll discard this alcohol in order to grab this barrel. The X bourbon hogshead. That's gonna save us seven bucks. And this wooden barrel is gonna be great for us because our signature recipe requires us to age it in a wooden barrel. So we can use this. And even better, it has a special ability that says, when aging for the first time, add an additional flavor card. We have this huge stack of flavor cards there that we can add to our aging spirits and they provide us with more money when we eventually sell those spirits. But in addition to that, Annie McAdam has a special ability that says during the sell phase, I could gain two extra points when I sell a spirit containing three or more of those flavor cards. So this barrel is going to let us do that a lot quicker. That's going to be fantastic. Now we discard these. Now you always get to keep the metal barrel. You always have that. Oh, and I forgot, when you sell, you get to add a glass bottle. I always forget to add the glass bottle. You have to bottle it up before you sell it. And so we have the glass bottle. That's gonna give us an extra money. So at the end of the distill phase, you put it in the barrel. Then when you're about to sell it, you, you place it in the bottle. Now we discard everything. The bottle and the barrel come back. These go back to the basic markets. We would now get to age anything that we put in the warehouse by adding additional flavor cards. You'll see that when I start aging things, but we haven't aged anything yet. So we're gonna skip the age phase and go right to the end of the round. If for some reason we hadn't sold a spirit this round because maybe we had aged it instead, we would have the opportunity to lose up to four points in order to gain up to four money. That's known as holding a tasting. But since we sold something, we can't do that. We're gonna move the round marker forward. And there we go, we get to move on to round two. Cheers. <coughs> Smooth. <coughs> okay. So we start at the market phase. Now we have two of these sugars here, but no water and no yeast. So that's gotta be our first move. Let's grab some yeast. We get a coin for that. And now for our second and last basic market purchase, we'll get some water. And this special ability says, when purchased, you may reveal the top card of any market deck, purchase it or return it to the bottom of the deck. Man, I'd love to see maybe the top card of that upgrade deck. Ooh, or I don't really like the items that are there. Now let's, let's look at the top card of the upgrade deck. Okay, we got a co-op manager. So that symbol there means at the beginning of the round, you can add any one basic ingredient to your pantry. Ooh, that's not bad. And it says here at the very bottom in small, small letters, you'll get a point for each of your vodka and moonshine spirit labels. Well, we already have one moonshine. Now the problem is that's gonna cost five bucks. I only have two left over. You know what, let's do it. So I'm gonna add the co-op manager spending the five money. And then I'm gonna use this two money that I have left in order to get a new recipe. And I wanna get this soju recipe. Now it's a bronze, so it's only gonna cost two. So you just take that, you put it there to show that you now know that recipe and you can distill that type of spirit. This is great because it needs two of the grain sugar, which we have. It doesn't need to be aged and you can just put it in that metal barrel that we have. So that will be handy. There we go, market phase over. We're gonna reset the premium market here. Here we are, we have everything that we want here. So we have two sugars, so we're gonna add two alcohol and shuffle this up. Again, we could have done a trade, but I didn't want to. And what I'm hoping for is that we won't lose one of our grain sugars. 
If we do, then we'll have to make vodka instead. Let's see. Top and bottom. Ooh, we did it. These go back into our pantry. This is what we have left over. And you can see here, we managed to have our two grains, which is exactly what we needed to make our soju. We have to add the metal barrel, and then we're not aging it, so we're gonna stick it in our only bottle here, this glass bottle, and we're gonna sell it. Get the label. For money, we're getting one, two, three, four, five. And points, it's worth five, plus this millet is six. Now we can place this out here and we have a decision to make. If we place it on one of these and we take the two points, then that will be the eight points that we need in order to move on from our solo goal. And I think we probably want to do that. I think we're gonna put this here and take the two points instead of getting the free recipe. And that's the eight points we need to satisfy this card so we immediately mark it with a coin to show that we've completed it. We get the reward, which is two more money. And we get to move on to the next row. We're now going to reveal the cards that are adjacent to the card that we just completed. Those are the only two that are available to us. So we're going to need to either earn eight money or more in a round, and then we'll get a point for that or we need to sell a spirit containing three sugars or more. And then we'll get a coin and a point. And wow, we're only one away. We, we made seven money this round, not eight. So we were one away from being able to immediately fulfill that. But either way, now we discard everything. Again, you always keep your glass bottle and metal barrel. Any premium ingredients just go on the truck. There we go, that's the end of round two. On to round three. Cheers. <coughs> oh yeah, this is good stuff. All right, so first things first, our co-op manager gives us a little special ability. We get to add any one basic ingredient to our pantry. Mixed grains it is. Now in the market phase here, we have one grain. We have this yeast from before. And we have this alcohol, and alcohol can be used either as a yeast or as a water. So we actually have everything that we need here in order to make a vodka. I actually have my sights set on this whiskey. Or perhaps now is the time to start working on our uh, signature recipe. In order to do so, we would have to have two more of these grain sugars. I think we can just from the basic market for free, just get two of these mixed grains. And there's some corn out there that looks really promising. So let's go ahead, it's a little expensive. It's four, but it's gonna be worth two money and two points. And now we'd have to get very unlucky to draw two of these grain cards and not be able to make the whiskey. Problem is, we don't have enough money for the whiskey, so I think we are gonna go for the signature. Oh, but we need barley. Yeah, I forgot that we need barley for our signature. That changes things. Okay, I tell you what, instead of getting two mixed grains from the basic market, I'm just gonna get one, and then for my second, get a yeast, because that's gonna give me a coin. Now I have the four coins that I need to research the whiskey. It's a silver level recipe, so it costs four. Chances are we won't lose both of our grains here, so we'll be able to make it, and we have the barrel. We got three sugars, so three alcohol gets added, and we shuffle it up. And we're hoping to be able to make some whiskey here. Okay. Top, oh no, and bottom. No! 
<laughs> oh, we got screwed. So we only have one grain remaining, which means we just made some vodka. <laughs> can't make the whiskey, can't make the soju. That's just vodka. Mm. Well, got the metal barrel there. And we're going to bottle it up. Get that vodka. Can't age it, must sell it. We are getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven money. And two victory points. And we needed to earn eight money. So we're one off. Oh, if only we had had the corn in there, we would have had enough. So I think maybe we'll just come here and get that five money. So that we can complete that. Get a point. And we get to move up to the third row. Now we either need to sell two spirits in a single round, or we need to sell a spirit that's worth 20 points or more. Seems difficult, but maybe we can do it. That was some very alcoholic vodka we just made. Okay, we still haven't aged anything, unfortunately. Moving to round four. Bottoms up. <laughs> oh, I've been poisoned. I've been poisoned. Okay, co-op manager. Let's get those mixed grains. And now we're pretty set up here. We got three grains and a yeast. We definitely need a water. Yeah, let's take a look at. I want to look at. I want to look at an upgrade. Master Blender, during the cell phase, gain one point when selling a spirit if you already have a spirit label from the same region. I don't think we're interested in that right now. We're going to put this to the bottom of the deck. Tell you what, there's two things I am interested in. One is that barley. Our signature recipe needs barley. We don't have to use our signature ingredient. We could. We haven't unlocked it yet, but this barley will work. And yeah, I gotta have that warehouse manager. They're gonna let us get extra money for our aged spirits. And I think we're gonna start aging a lot of spirits here, at least for the next few rounds. This three money, we could get a nice fancy bottle. Ooh, the stainless steel barrel is just like a <laughs> better metal barrel. But I think we're gonna be using wood barrels. So I'm not sure about that. We could get some rye. Now, let's get this rounded barrel for three. I mean, rounded bottle. And we only got one of these. Let's go ahead and get some more mixed grains, but I think we'll just put it in the pantry for now. Okay, I think we're done there. Four alcohol. It's added. And let's see if we can get that signature recipe going. Okay. Top. Okay, bottom. No, why does this keep happening? Oh man. So yeah, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be whiskey. Oh, that hurts. Well, let's go ahead and make it. We'll make it with this X bourbon hoghead wooden barrel. Now the whiskey we have to age in a wooden barrel. We have the two grains that we need. And because we're not gonna sell it, we're gonna take all of this. We're gonna put it in a stack here. And we're just going to place it in our warehouse. 
Now, this barrel's special ability says that when aging for the first time, we gain an additional flavor card. So when you put this into age, it gets a flavor card. You don't get to see it. It just goes to the bottom. And because of this, we'll get a second flavor card. Every time you age it in the future, you'll get another flavor card. And as you can see here, the more flavor cards you have, when you eventually sell it, the more points you're gonna get. So right now it has two, so that would be worth three points. And there we go, we don't get to sell anything because we aged it instead. So if we want, we could hold a tasting. Now we're pretty low on points at the moment. <laughs> a little worried about our point situation. We will be going into the next round with no money. But look at this, we have three mixed grains. We might want enough money to get a wooden barrel because right now we don't have a wooden barrel. So we couldn't make whiskey or our signature ingredient. So let's lose three victory points to get three coins and go to the fifth round. Down the hatch. <laughs> oh, my liver is burning. Okay, co-op manager. Yeast. Get a coin. Hmm, actually. Let's do the water. Because I'm not sure if the special ability... I think you have to purchase it. I don't know if you just get it when you uh, add it using one of these special abilities. So now I'll get the yeast and get the coin. And then for my second basic market, I'm going to buy a wooden barrel. So if we get lucky, we'll be able to get some whiskey here. And that's it. Very simple market phase. Okay, let's distill three alcohol. Okay. Oh my god. Yes, okay. <laughs> so we have enough here to make a whiskey if we want. Now we'd have to age it. That's the only problem with whiskey. If we made a vodka, we wouldn't get as many points, but we get to sell it right away. The problem is if we sold this right now, I don't think it would be worth 20 points. <laughs> and that's really what I want. The two flavor cards is worth three. The whiskey is worth 10. That's 13, 14, 15, 16. Oof, yeah, 16. And then if we sold it in this rounded bottle, that would be 17, 18, 19. That would be 19 points. Oh, we're one away. So if we let this whiskey age one more round then we'd have what we need or instead we can make vodka this round save the wooden barrel sell both the vodka and the whiskey and then we'd have sold two spirits in a single round the problem is if we did that we'd only be able to turn over that card and that would be the goal that we'd have to meet the other reason to age this one more time is it would get another flavor card and then Annie McAdams special ability would take over, which says during the sell phase gain two points when selling a spirit that contains three or more flavor cards. Ah, the problem is I need money and I need these to come up here so I can get the special recipes. I want to make the signature recipe and we need to do it next round. It's worth a lot of points, so... I think we're going to have to bite the bullet here. We're going to have to use... We're just going to make this vodka. So instead of using the wooden barrel, we're just going to use this uh, metal barrel. Eat some vodka. And we're going to sell it. And we're not going to use the rounded bottle. We're going to use this regular bottle. So we're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight money. 
And we're getting two, three, four points. And this is going... Yeah, this is going to go here so that we can move our signature ingredient into our pantry. Yep. These are coming back. And now if we wanted, we could choose to sell the whiskey or we could hold back. Be taking a little bit of a risk, but I think let's do it. Let's let's not sell this whiskey, let's age it some more. So it's going to get another flavor card and it's just going to sit there. And that's it. On to round six. To your health. I'm dying. I'm definitely dying. Let's go. Can use that alcohol here. Co-op manager. Let's get some mixed grains going. Then, gonna need that yeast. And that coin. For our second one, let's get another mixed grain. Ooh, this etched crystal decanter is exactly what we need for our signature recipe. So let's go ahead and buy that. While we're at it, let's get a little rye. We're gonna go all out. Five sugars means five alcohol. And let's shuffle it up. We can have up to two things aging in our warehouse. I don't know if I mentioned that. Okay. Top. Bottom. All right. That is good stuff. So, we have our barley. And we have at least three of those grain sugars. So we have everything that we need for our signature recipe. We're going to pop it in this wooden barrel and age it. And we're going to sell this whiskey. Got a lot of stuff here. That isn't going to do anything. Got the alcohol. The yeast doesn't give us anything. Ooh, and we got three flavors here. So we flip these flavors over. It looks like we have some seaweed, some peaty, and some orange peel. Nice. Very nice. And our warehouse manager lets us double the money we get from one of these. So we're actually going to be getting four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen money. We are super rich. And we're beginning a ton of points. So the whiskey itself is worth ten points. The three flavor is worth an additional six. Plus... Annie will give us an additional two on top of that. So that's 18, 19, 20, 21. And we just sold a spirit worth 20 or more points. Move up here and we can uncover both of these. Okay, it says we need to collect spirit labels from two different regions or to sell a spirit worth $8 or more. We're going to go ahead and put that on there and get two more points. And now all we need to do is to either collect three gold tier spirit labels, which we are not doing, or collect five labels from your distiller's region. So I haven't mentioned this too much, but each of these has 
a region associated with it. Now, a bunch of these, including the moonshine and the vodka, have that little symbol there, which basically means whatever region your character is from. And you can see here, we're from the European region. And so all those count as being from the European region. The whiskey also has those. So we're gonna have no problem completing that. Okay, we get to place our whiskey out here. Do we want a free item? Do we want a free ingredient? Or do we want a free upgrade card? Oh, and I forgot, hold on. Sorry, we have to bottle the whiskey. And we have this lovely rounded bottle. There we go, I always forget about the bottles. So this is actually gonna be worth an extra coin. And it says when selling gain two, victory points, or if selling a European spirit, gain three. So we're going to get three extra points there. And the cool thing about these premium bottles is we get to save this card, put it off to the side, and at the end of the game, we're going to get some points depending on how many of these bottles we've collected. We want to collect bottles from the same region, or we'll get some more points, or we want to collect bottles like one from each region. Then we'll get five points. And look at this, we have a bottle here that's from that region. And there's another bottle from the European region. So maybe we want to grab that with our whiskey label. Yeah, I think that seems like a good idea. Okay, there we go. When we age this, did we put a flavor underneath? No, we did not. So this needs a flavor for when... It gets a flavor immediately when you start aging it. All right. I think that's it. Last round. Aw. Oh, now I want to clarify something real quick here. This should actually be right here. This is indicating our active row. And anytime you complete one of these goals... You can complete any other goal that is adjacent to it or above it, directly above it. And when you complete one of the goals above it, you then move your active row up to that level. And you can never complete any of the goals below. So because I completed this goal, this becomes the active row. And I can never complete any of the cards below it, but I could potentially complete that solo goal right there to sell a spirit worth eight or more. That might be worth doing because it'd just be worth two extra points. Now also keep in mind our target score is becoming clearer now. Because we completed this B goal, our target score is gonna be 12. And then we're gonna have to complete one of these A's. We're going for this one, obviously, so that's gonna be another 75. So our target goal is gonna be 87 points. Now we do have this goal card right here that allows us to swap cards in a single row. So if you ever reach a spot where you're kind of stuck, you could use this in order to swap some cards around to a goal that might be easier for you to achieve. The only downside is you can only use it once, then you flip it, and then you have to add five points to your target score. We're not gonna have to use that though right now. And we have a ton of money here to do pretty much whatever we want. Now let's see here. We have some grains and we have some alcohol. Let's have our co-op manager. Mm, yeah, give us another grain. We'll then get a yeast. And probably another grain. I think we're gonna go for some soju. And yeah, we have enough bottles. We don't wanna use whiskey because we'd have to age it and this is the last round. Now you do get points for your aging stuff. So we could do that, but I'd rather just sell something I think. So what are we gonna do with all this money? Well, I guess we might as well get this stainless steel barrel. That'll be an extra point. Private investor is also worth a point. So we'll just go ahead and get them.
And why not? Let's just get that uh, millet just to be on the safe side. Okay, we don't have to worry about the market reset right now. Let's just get into distilling for alcohol. Okay, losing the top and the bottom. All right, no problem. We're gonna be making some soju. We'll place it in this bottle right here. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven money. And this bottle is just going to be one point, two points, seven points altogether. And we'll just place it up here to get two points. Get to keep that bottle. And then we're gonna sell our aged signature recipe, the single pot still whiskey. Lots of alcohol. And a nice fishy flavor. I'm gonna put it in this nice bottle right here. So we're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen money. And for points, we're getting 19 from the whiskey, 20, 24, and four more because of this decanter has 28 points. When you reach 50, you just put your little 50 marker down here. Okay, so that's 76 points we have right now. Again, we get to keep that. And, yep, we're just going to put this up here for two more points. Oh, I forgot. Because of our warehouse manager, we'd actually get an extra money. Not that that's going to matter. Okay, there we go. And we've collected these five labels from our region. One, two, three, four, five. As well as we did that. So we get two more points. Ooh, so we're at 80 points and our target number is 87. So let's go into final scoring and see if we can get those seven extra points. Oh, I forgot something. We actually sold an aged whiskey there. Our signature recipe had one flavor token on it, so we do get an extra point for that. And we're gonna need every point that we can get, I think. So that was good. In-game scoring is pretty simple. If we had anything aging in our warehouse still, we would get some points for that. We would get all the points that are on the ingredient cards, the barrels, the recipe. And then we'd get one point for each flavor card that was underneath it. But we would not get this sell age spirit flavor bonus because we hadn't sold it. Now we get points for our bottle collection. So we have three bottles from the same region. So that's going to be worth four extra points. If we had at least one bottle from each of the three different regions, we'd get an additional five points. Now we get points for our distillery upgrades. The co-op manager is giving us one point for each of our vodka and moonshine. So that's going to be one, two, three points. 
The warehouse manager is giving us a point for every aged spirit. And you can see here we have two of those. And our private investor is just giving us one point. We then get one point for every $5 that we have left. Looks like I have 28. So that's going to be five additional points. And there you have it. We ended the game with 96 points, which is above our target score of 87. And we completed at least one of these goals per row. So we have won the solo game. And there you have it. That is a complete solo game of Distilled. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.